Hello and welcome to this all plan pro tip. In this video, we're talking about fixtures. Fixtures are unique to all plan and they're a great way to combine the power of 3D modeling with the flexibility of 2D drafting. Fixtures gives you complete control over how your elements will look in each view, how much detail is shown and how it'll look. In the views, you can add hatching or additional line work, anything to better represent your object. So you can see here in this example, in my front view, I've added a pipe and a lot of detail around the edges and basically looking, making it look any way that I want that might be different from the 3D object here. Now, once a fixture is created, there are several tools for modifying and working with the fixture, such as the modify display parameters command. With the all foils in drawing file command, I can easily display the 2D line work that was used for each view when this fixture was created. And this is great if you need to make changes to any of the foils. This fixture was created with six foils, which will be displayed for all scales. With the modify foil parameters, we can modify this fixture so that the level of detail is only shown at smaller scales. And sometimes if you have too much detail on a large scale, the drawing could look like a black blob. I'm going to go through one by one for each of the 2D foils and change the reference scale from 0 to 65. That means that these foils will only be displayed when the scale is set between those values. You can see from this list that all of the foils have been modified. I'm keeping the 3D view the same for all scales. Note we can also delete any foils if we need to remove them and recreate them. In this case, I'm going to add new foils, and these are going to be for scales from 66 and up. So first, I'm going to cancel out of this command. I can now make changes to the existing foils that I placed in the drawing. So I'm just gonna clean up these lines a little bit, show less detail. Uh, for example, the plan, maybe only show a circle. For the bottom view, the same, and take off everything in the middle and just show the outline for the front, back, and side views. Now I can go back into the modified display parameters command and this time choose to add foil. Just like when first creating the foil, we need to select the line work in the model. Pick the view that this line work represents. Set the reference scale. And so this time I'm going to set the scale from 66 to the largest 9999. And I need to repeat this process for all of my 2D views. Once done, I can cancel out of this command. You do need to place the fixture again. It will not automatically update what was previously in the model. Now let's see how this looks. I'm going to create views of my fixture. I can modify this reference scale for calculation and set it to the scale of my view. So I'm going to set these to a half inch equals a foot. So I need to input the scale of 24. And you can see that as I place these, they are the original views with a lot of detail showing in each one. Now let's change the scale to 1 8 inch equals 1 foot. So I'll type in 96 here, and I'll repeat the process of placing each view under the previous one. You can see that these are simplified line work showing much less detail. Notice the 3D view or the isometric view is the same regardless of the scale. Fixtures are a great way to represent certain 3D objects in any way that you need in each orthogonal view. And that brings us to the end of this pro tip on fixtures. Enjoy working with all plan.